Speaking about people who need to come all the way down, as in take a chill pill or 10, we've got Omosh and Co. Now, Mr. Omosh has decided that he is not only going to get Kenyans to pay for his house, Get him this to small to light. And Sidri, what else did he ask tripod. for? A light and like a tripod. He not only just wants a light and a tripod, he wants us to also build his house or a house for his first wife. According to him, he lives with one wife and the other one comes to visit. And she, by the name Mrs. Ngatia, has come out to say a few things. First of all, she says, I am very glad to have worked with Tahiti High. I used to feed my children, educate them because I had that job. This is obviously because of, you know, emotion, the job that he had before. But now, my children have started having it rough. They've been kicked out of houses, out of houses, and kicked out of schools. Okay, Mrs. Ngatia then decides to add on a little bit. She says, "I was kicked out of my house by the landlord, saying that we have money. That Omosh is a big name. The thing, that thing affected me psychologically. I feel um, like dressing and covering my face and walking around." Honey child, we've got masks. You have that option. But moving on really swiftly, here's the part that ticked me. She says, Nataka tu kanyumba, atakama ni kamabati. Naishi saizi in a one bedroom in Kayole. Ah. And I have rent arrears for how many months? Two months. Mm -hmm. And she apparently pays how much for her rent? 5K. Now, <laughs> I'm just looking at her going, first, you have rent arrears now. When your husband had just gotten sums of money nearly a million shillings. Even he was saying, I could figure it but it was And I'm just going, sir, why aren't you paying rent for these women that you are clearly having? Five children is a lot of children to have. But five children, two wives, a new home, and all that money that you garnered, I honestly just feel like this is an embarrassment. And the hilarious fact is like, Omosh is just sitting over there, just like, you know, you can see the smirk on his face. He's just going, I'm taking y'all on a ride, and there is nothing you can do about it. Yo, we are tired of you and your woes, you and your few cries. If you guys really feel the need to ask the public for money again, it's the audacity for me. It's the energy for me. And you need to dial it all the way down because I feel like no manje. Like you're biting outside. Y'all just like too much. Come on. Aye? <laughs> if you can't handle one wife, why marry two or three? Like, dude, what is your problem? Keep your house in order. And also, when you got Kenyans building you this beautiful home, Ungeji Panga, like, by the way, if sometimes lazima to solo pride. Mm -hmm. So if it, it is a three bedroom, by the way, first wife achukwe one bedroom, mm -hmm. the other one achukwe two bedroom. Because <laughs> we do not want these celebrities coming to us all the time asking for funds, asking for houses. Do you know people sleep hungry so that they can build a home? Do you know the, the length the length at which, which uh, people go to to just make sure that their life is just comfortable, you know? And you're just there. Just because you're a celebrity or you're married to a celebrity, you think that we you owe you, entitled. my friend. Uh -uh, the entitlement, by the way. Uh -uh. No, me, I'm not buying this. If you want to pay for her home, you go ahead and do that. But for me, I feel like if you want me to buy you a phone, you got to buy you a phone for yourself first. And then I will upgrade you, mm -hmm. you know? Because mm -hmm. let me tell you, Asante Apunda ni Mateke, these people never appreciate, let me tell you something. They will not appreciate. For as long as they, they are just always used to having free things, really like, oh, I'll just stand in front of a camera like now and just ask Kenyans to do something for me. And uh, boom, I got it. No, I think it's time we do things differently and have these people at least wafanye kitu. Kuna mama mboga, kuna mama nyanya, kuna nani do something and then from that thing we will you need to know by the way mm. if you have a business we will promote your business but uh, uh omba omba no you know i what i've just realized from this whole situation is that like you know the begging of money for from the country seems to run in the family it really does that's what that's what i've realized and gathered from this whole entire story when she sat over there and she saw that oh wow my husband begged in front of the whole entire country, said how he's broke, said how he's there busy in living in debt. And he got almost a million shillings. And on top of that, a home was built for him. She was like, okay, sour, sour. Even me, I want a home as well. Naishi kwa bed sita. Ata ninja get to nyumba ya mabati. Girl, live with your husband as the first wife. You know, if she was a netty wife number three, wife number four, wife number six, 10, 11, 12, then you can start saying, Aki Woyeb just built for me a home because this youth husband of mine won't give me a home but you are the first 
wife. Doesn't the first wife live with her husband? Exactly. The first wife lives with her husband. So girl, we already sent you all the money, sent your man the money. A home has been built for the two of you. Can you go and move into that home? And that arrears over there of uh, 10,000 because uh, she hasn't paid rent for two months. I saw a comment over there, someone saying that a fool and go, a save. <laughs> no, it's a kulipa. But honestly, Makes sense. it's the truth. Mm. We can't be the ones to bail you out all the time. Move in with your husband, save some money, pay your arrears, and continue on with life. Yeah.